Hey, it's the time of the month again for another TFAW unboxing. If you're new to the channel, once a month, usually once a month, I get a shipment from Things From Another World or TFAW.com where I get a bunch of different things. It could be, you know, collectibles, pins, you know, CGC comics, you know, just a bunch of different things. And I have a shipment set to about once a month or every four weeks where anything I pre order from that month ships to me. And this is my shipment for the month of April. And let's see what's inside. Notice they said April, even though it's May. I wound up getting this about two days left in the month. And I figure I might as well, you know, instead of rushing it, I'll just open it at the beginning of the month. Because as I've said in previous videos, I'm not going to be doing as many of these anymore. I haven't been reading as many comics lately, and my shipments are getting smaller and smaller, and I think I have like three things left on my pre- Wow, this is getting hard to open. For once, they actually package it incredibly well with uh, the new shippers. Anyways, get this started. Ah, uh, oh, okay. I saw what's in here. I was waiting for uh, I'll get to that later. Okay. It is Hairball number one from Dark Horse Comics. Uh, and this is by Matt Kent, and I remember him from, I think it was Trillium? No, 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 Mind MGMT. You know, and he did some interesting series here and there. And yeah, that was pretty cool. Look at that cat. And if you know me, you know I like cats. Look at him. So. And it's Dark Horse, so it'll be interesting to see what this is. This is... Okay, first I gotta mention something I just noticed. Uh, TFAW is uh, giving me really cheap bags. Like, all these bags have wrinkles on them. Like, I don't know if you see it from this angle. Yeah, you might be able to see, like... And none of the bags from any of their comics have felt this cheap. This feels cheap. And keep in mind... You pay extra for the bags and boards. This does not feel very secure. Like, okay. I know this is supposed to be unboxing, but this is gonna be a little bit of criticism. Uh, for reference, I have a lot of TFAW comics behind me. Now, look at the plastic there. Look how smooth that is. You can see straight across. And now look at this one. You can see all those ridges and lights because this is really cheap plastic. And look. How loose it is. Look, this, this even sounds better as opposed to this. And, and the board on here seems to be thicker. Like, okay. Ed Romans number one of six, cover B by Markovovich. Okay, I hate that I can see that. You know, I'm gonna take it out of this stupid bag. I was in a good mood. That kind of annoyed me. Okay, see? You can see that much better now. And it looks like from, I can tell that this back cover, this is from Image Comics. Because I see there's some other, ooh, Shadow Line, Junk Rabbit, Jimmy Robinson. Oh, I met Jimmy Robinson, he's pretty cool. And The Last Barbarians, Hammerlin, I may have met Hammerlin, Dead Romans, The Book of Moon Now, Dr. Atomic, The Pipe and Dope Book. Yeah, I think. Actually, looks kind of cool. But anyways, this is Dead Romans. Up next, Avengers Beyond number one. And this is by Landy. I don't recognize that name. Number one of five. Oh, this is covered by Greg Land. Not a She Hulk fan. So, right here, she's doing a freaking German suplex. If you don't know what a German suplex is, that's where you get behind your opponent your chest to their back, wrap your arms around them, and you basically don't do a backflip, but you arch your back all the way back, so you're slamming the back of their head and neck against the mat or the floor, you know, all of this, and you know, the better the German suplex you have, the more of an arch, and if you're trying to pin them, you want to get on your tippy toes, because that's hard to do, and it looks freaking cool, so, yeah, she hold is Harley Quinn number 28, Dawn of DC. And I believe I got this for the artist. Who is it? Sweeney Boo. I, okay, I don't know this artist, but it just, for some reason, Harley, her comics tend to have a lot of different artists do variant covers, and I like the look of them. 
and I'd never seen this art before and I like it. And it's very easy if you're gonna go to a comic convention and if you buy a bunch of variant covers from different artists, you're bound to you know run to someone at a convention that's gonna have it. So whenever there's an artist I've never heard of or I like their art, I tend to get it, especially if it's a character I like, and then lo and behold, I might hear like comic convention, so and so, maybe Sweeney Boo's gonna be there, and hey, I have a something there is in, can you get a sign? Boom. Next thing you know. I mean, that's how I became a fan of Jeff Lemire and Dustin Wynn and started buying more and more of their stuff. So, sometimes it really is as simple as just thinking something looks cool, buying it, and then it hooks you in. And this is what I remember ordering a while back. And as you know, I've been buying uh, trade paperbacks more and more often. I have a whole bunch on my wall, like Civil War, Watchmen, uh, Three Jokers, Ultimate Comics, Spider-Man, Darth Vader, and so on. So when I saw this one on sale, I already had all the single issues, and I had got them signed by the writer at LA Comic Con, you know, and I even bought a variant cover and met the guy and the guy was cool. So this is a course of, I almost messed up, uh, a version of, my favorite version of a character I loved growing up. And this is my favorite version of them. It used to be a different version, but now it's Spider-Punk and this is the mini series by, I believe the name is Cody Ziegler. So this was a mini series about six issues long. And if you know this character, it was premiered in Spider-Verse, it's Hobie Brown. There's a very punk thing. I believe um, Norman Osborn is the head of the police police division or something. He's like the commissioner and it's, you know, it's very much anarchy thing. It's uh, against the fighting the system and stuff. It's, it's very in line with, you know, the 80s uh, uh, punk aesthetic and vibe and feel, you know. Of fighting the system, wanting change, down authority, you know, all these different things and, and music and that's why I always loved Spider Punk. You know. Plus, you know, he looks cool as hell. You know, I want to eventually find the statue of him. And it's hard, it's it's expensive and I'm gonna read this because you know I love Spider Punk and I met the guy that wrote this. Freaking did a good job. So that's Spider Punk, Battle of the Band. Yeah, check it out. I think this was only how much was this one? 12 bucks, that's not bad. 12 bucks. All right, that's it for my April shipment of from Things From Another World or TFAW.com. And I hope you liked what I did there. And, you know, keep supporting me. Look forward to making more content. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. If you can, like, share, subscribe, click bell notification, you know, comment down below, you know, spam this to all your friends. Thank you and hope to see you again very soon.